Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a new edition of Kingdom Craft. How are you all doing today? <clears throat> I hope that you're having a good day. I'm having a little bit of a cold. I've talked about this in a previous previous episode. Um, and uh, it's fine, you know, it's fine. I just wanted to mention a little bit of a stuffy nose and a weird voice, but all's good. All, all is good, he says with a voice crack. Uh, today we're gonna head out. That's right. I asked, I asked you guys in the last episode uh, if you, if we're ready on the channel for a little bit of a caving slash adventure episode. Um, and wow, the response was great. Like there was, a, <laughs> there was a lot of people wanting uh, to actually do something else than to just build so we're heading out we're taking the main exit i wanted to see if i could get a look no no view distance is too low oh well uh we're heading out the main e uh, exit from the kingdom because i've never been down this route and oh wow already we see pretty things um we have two objectives here today one is to grab some, some materials and some cool stuff and just explore. The other one is that it would be awesome to find a, a skelly spawner. What is this? Oh, it's just lighting weirdness. Maybe we head down there. <clears throat> the skelly spawner obviously would be great if it, if it wasn't too far away from the, uh, from the kingdom. Uh, let's just have a look here because I thought this area looked pretty cool. We have the thick mega spruce thingamajingy forest over there, and we got a nice mountain over here. Uh, these are the lands of the mountain kingdom, I suppose. So, could be interesting, maybe build some uh, <laughs> suburban houses or something over here. But anyway, we're, we're gonna do this thing, and I've I prepared myself, I got repaired pickaxe, repaired axe, everything is good to go. Hello, rabbit! Cute bunny, you... Um, so I I was gonna I, I announced on the Twitter actually let's let's go down there immediately immediately I announced on Twitter that I was thinking we could do a Q and A for oh crap I have feather falling yeah 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 you don't worry about me oh hello <laughs> that was it <clears throat> I announced on the Twitters that I was gonna do a Q and A for the um, um, for for this episode. However, I got one question, I think, or maybe two, um, so we can't really do that. And I realized, I mean, a lot of people on here doesn't even have Twitters. You should totally get it, by the way, and you should follow me. Oh, yeah, that's the coolest thing. Haven't you heard how in that is right now? Just do it. No, 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 it's fine. Uh, I, I should have announced it in the episode. But uh, anyway, I decided to put the Q&A at the... Um, 100th single player series my modded single player series episode instead Ooh, we can go over there what do you think about that cowie you like that idea don't you he just don't want to be slayed slayed uh <clears throat> so yeah if you have any questions uh check out my episode 97 the late oh hero i'll i want your balls <laughs> i want your ender pearls i mean your pearls yeah, check out episode 97, the latest one from my single player modded series, and ask your questions in the comments there, or tweet them to me, and we'll do that Q&A in, in the 100th episode instead. Uh, what I was thinking today, and this was also suggested by a few of you, I, I, let's, let's just have a little talk, let's have a little chillax episode, and I'll, I'll talk a little bit about who I am, and it, maybe you can get to know me a little bit better, beyond the YouTubing. I think that sounds interesting. Wow, so many mobs already. Um, so, w without further ado, uh, this is this may actually be a good cave. I'm not. I should say I'm not good or used to do caving episodes. Uh, it's not something that I personally, you know, enjoy watching. And so, um, yeah, it's it's it's. I'm a little bit scared. <laughs> that I will not be good at it. But anyway, you know, you gotta start somewhere, right? You gotta start somewhere. <clears throat> uh, wow, this actually looks like a like a big place. Hello, Skellington. Get out of here. Oh, goodness. Ah! <laughs> there we go. So, I don't know what's up and what's down. I suppose... 
We went into this in a hill. Yeah, 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 yeah. We should go down. I just want to explore every single little pocket um, to try and find a skelly spawner. Because the the what it would do to us kingdom crafters to have a skelly spawner is a lot. We need bones, like there is no tomorrow. We also need arrows, mind you. We haven't got a single infinity bow uh, yet, and so so we need arrows. Uh, let's head down here then. Or was this a dead end? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, let me introduce myself. I am Iskal. I am Swedish, I should tell you. Uh, get a lot of questions of people assuming that I'm Swedish, but they have to ask anyway. Uh, my, my name, my nickname is actually a Swedish word, which means ice cold. Um, it's a silly nickname, really, but when I started to use the interwebs, this was a long time ago. I, I am a 30 year old or 29 years old. Uh, cool fella, <laughs> really. Wow. What did I just say? Really? <laughs> Anyway, this is where I would have caught in, in a regular episode. We're just going to roll with it, though. We're just going to roll. So I'm 29 years old. And my nickname comes from um, when I was around, I think, like 12 years old. I started to play, uh, I started to play computer games. And um, there was a shoot 'em up game that came pretty early. I think this was 95 or 96, called Quake 1. Um, which I got completely hooked to. It was like a, a CSGO in today's measurement. It was a uh, first-person shooter game, very quickly paced, and I quickly learned that I had a talent for those type of games. I had a... Uh, I have nerves of steel, they told me, or in Swedish, they told me that I had ice-cold nerves. I had a pretty good aim and that type of thing. And so I took the nickname of Ice Cold. I thought it was really, really cool by the time. And you can't change your nickname, you know? You can't do that. So it's stuck ever since. So there's the explanation behind my nickname. And, and it means Ice Cold in Swedish. And yes, I am Swedish. Wow, we're finding so much iron. I said that we have a lot of resources. But tell you what, I and Cubfan have been talking about uh, trying to get the Wither killed here pretty soon. Oh, I hear you. Uh, trying to get the wither killed here pretty soon uh, so that we can get a beacon. And if we're getting a beacon, I'm assuming that we're going to need a little bit more resources for a fully one. Which is also a good thing because we're out of stone, as I mentioned in the last episode. And having a beacon will just aid us in not being out of stone. Um, we should really try to head down. But as I said, trying to explore every single little pocket. And oh wow, I'm already out of... You know what I didn't bring? I didn't bring any coal, and I don't have any pickaxe that can break coal. <laughs> Derp. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and set up a little camp here. Smelt down some of this iron and make myself an iron pickaxe. Because I don't work with stone pickaxes. Oh, I can't. Because I don't have any cobblestone. What the... <laughs> I'm so terrible. Okay. Okay, tell you what. Here's what we have to do. Boom. Mm -hmm. And this... <laughs> Oh, derpy. Okay, there we go. I never bring cold because I, I'm always thinking that, you know, it's fine. It's fine. We'll just we'll just find it as we go. But, oh, mm -hmm. okay, so we do that. Maybe we're fine with, with having a, a stone pickaxe to break these. Maybe not. Let me, go, let me get a furnace eye going here quickly. All right, we're nearly there. Nearly there. I saw a skeleton. Uh, I just It just struck me. Would you guys be interested in seeing a Kingdom Craft... Um, actually, you know what I'm going to do? Let's put three more on the, on the fire there. <clears throat> Would you guys be interested in seeing a Kingdom Craft uh, UHC? Let me know. Down below. Let me know down below in the comments. That may actually be a thing that we can do. Uh, I would certainly enjoy it. I played a few UHCs. I played with... The last one I was in was with Biffa 2001 and uh, King Daddy DMAC. And I believe I won it. Maybe I... Mm, maybe I didn't win it. I think actually Biffa won it now that I think about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. But let us know. That could be very, very fun to do. Um, okay, so we're going to create a bucket. That's something that we... I think we're going to need. We're going to leave the Furni behind. And... Oh, crappery! We're not even having... We, we don't even have one torch. 
Uh, <clears throat> so yeah, a little bit more about myself. I'm, I'm 29 years old, as I said. I live in Sweden. I live together with my beautiful girlfriend. Uh, we've been together for the past... I better get this right. Uh, crap. Seven years? Eight years? Don't kill me, Emily! <laughs> That's her name, by the way. Oh, goodness. I have no idea. I think it's... I believe it's seven or eight years. Anyway, a long time. Uh, and we live in the capital of Sweden, Stockholm, um, together with our two dogs. I'm a big dog person. I love my dogs to death. They are the coolest thing ever. Um, it's a uh, many people ask about this when I mention my dogs, so let's just get it. Let let's just get the answers out there. It's a Siberian Husky and a Papillon. The Papillon is a, the, the, he's the coolest little guy ever. He's very, very tiny. His name is Hercules. Uh, and he's daddy's boy, you know. He, 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 oh my goodness. When I come home from work, he's in my lap. He's hugging me and, and he's just crazy about me. And I'm crazy about him. Love him to death. Uh, love the husky as well, of course. She's, she's beautiful. Um, and they are best friends. Of course, they hang out and they, uh, they are crazy and weird together. Um, yeah. They're just very cool. I wonder if you guys are dog people. Uh, I kind of it tends to be either you hate dogs or you like dogs. I I don't know if I'm if I'm correct about that, but uh, I, there seems to be camps of cat people and dog people, and yeah, it's just it's just weird to me. But that's how it is. Uh, so that is us. We live in a flat, as I said, and I've got the question in the past: Do I do YouTube full time? No, I don't. I have a full time job. Um, that I truly enjoy. It's a, uh, <clears throat> it's a. I, I work as a manager. Uh, I manage around 100 people, and it, it's it's inspiring. You know, it's inspiring. I, I teach people. I <clears throat> educate them. I make them uh, give me the results. And uh, yeah, it's, it's inspiring to see people grow. I I, I live I live for that. Um, to be able to 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 see how people expand their possibilities and capabilities are. It's something that I enjoy. Um, in addition to that, I ha I play a lot of Minecraft, obviously. I, um, I travel a lot as well. Usually I backlog all my episodes on the weekends. Uh, so even if I say happy Saturday, it might, uh, or happy Wednesday, maybe a Saturday I'm recording it on. Uh, that's just to get, you know, the, the get my life together. I want to put out videos, I want to play Minecraft, but I cannot play so much on the weekdays. For obvious reasons, should I ever uh, start to, you know, get to a point where I could do this as my full-time job, I'll consider it. However, it's not a goal of mine. I, I as long for as long as it's possible, I don't want to involve money in 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 the whole YouTube thing. I kind of feel that it tends to break the passion. Many of my role models with YouTube, unfortunately, I feel that <clears throat> nowadays it's all about the money, and it just breaks my heart. Um, and it also leads me to the next kind of topic that I have, which is uh, um, my, my passion for, for, <laughs> for this game, my love and passion. And those of you who follow me on Twitter, you probably have noticed, but I absolutely love this community. I love this game. Um, and when I say I love something, I, I truly love something, you know. So it, it's, uh, it's heartbreaking to see people kind of losing the passion and then continuing to do it anyway, I, I would never do that. Um, and I would also never, like, do anything that I don't think is enjoyable. Um, so, yeah, that, that should cover that. What else about me? What else do I do? I am a... I, I talked about this when we talked about donations. People are so cool and kind and wanting to... I hear a Zombert. We should be heading down here. Um... Yeah, I, I talked about donations in another episode because uh, people are so cool. They want to give me money <laughs> for putting out these videos, and and you know, for me, that that's that's very very kind. Thank you so much. But I'd rather see the money go to to charity. So, me personally, I'm trying to involve myself in in charity work and and that kind of thing as much as I have time for. Uh, it's something close to my heart to be able to help other people and. While I can, I, I feel I'm lucky to to be born in, in this country uh, of Sweden. There are no wars, there are no nothing, everything is just great. And so there are so many people that are in need of help and, and whatever I can do to help them, 
uh, I want to to do. Of course, it's it's <coughs> it's something that I feel passionate about. Kind of like Minecraft, <coughs> and that's also an interesting take on YouTube and the whole YouTube being. Why do I? Uh, what it, what is my my drive for YouTube is a, is a common question that I've got in the past, <clears throat> and it is the it is the fact that I feel like I'm doing something that actually benefit other people. I'm I'm hopefully able to inspire some of you and and entertain a few of you and you know give you ideas and and just a place for you guys to relax and and if you want to relax watching. Me play Minecraft, all the better. I, I enjoy that because for me, I, I of course enjoy showing you what I do in Minecraft and all of that. So I guess that's my drive. Then it's it's maybe a little bit different, um, but I started YouTube very late. If it if we we're speaking about Minecraft, mind you. Finally, <laughs> yes. Oh hey, this is the little guy that was uh, telling me there is a cave down here. He's Cal. Come have a look. Do we have coal? We do. Let's do a little bit more of these. <clears throat> uh, I gotta tell you guys, you know what? Earlier this week, I purchased purchased a new SSD drive um, because I have a I have 120 gigabytes of Windows SSD drives. This is for the computer techie people out there, uh, and. Um, uh, that I, I only have Minecraft and Windows on it, and then I have some big ass mechanical technical drives. I'm sorry if the word ass is not appropriate. I I I part on me, <laughs> but anyway. Um, but I felt that I wanted to try record directly to a uh, SSD SSD drive. Maybe we can do. 60 frames per second videos. I'm not sure. I don't personally see a difference in any Minecraft footage that is 60 frames per second or 30 frames per second, but I hear people are telling me that it's a huge difference. So maybe we'll try that out. We'll see. Just wanted to mention that. Um, I have to, of course, do the terrible thing of, you know, formatting or removing all my data and, and getting that type of thing sorted. Uh, let's get across here. Hopefully, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see more cave ahead. <clears throat> I have to, of course, do all of that, but uh, I'm looking forward to it. We'll see. We'll see if it works fine. Oh, there's a cobble pillar here. Have I been here? There are torches, so someone has been here. Is this me? Damn it. I don't think this is me. I think someone else has been explored here. And I thought I went to a unique place. What do you know? Anyway, I saw it uh, continue down this road. Um, so more about me. I like talking about me. I really do. Um, so I grew up in in Sweden, and I I suppose I should kind of inform you of how I got to play Minecraft and all that. I um, I grew up playing uh, hockey, ice hockey, quite a bit and on quite high levels, and it was really really fun. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, when I was 17 years old, I got injured badly. Uh, my, my foot got injured, so I had to stop it, unfortunately. And by the time I had been playing computer games, basically, whenever I wasn't playing hockey, I was playing computer games, and I was enjoying it a lot. Uh, I told you, talked to you earlier about Quake. Um, and from there, basically, you know, <clears throat> I played... I'm, I'm not very much for playing a lot of games. I rather play one game passionately and very, very much, <laughs> obviously, which is what I'm doing with Minecraft at the moment and have been for the past four years, five years. Um, I'm going to grab some of this Anders. I don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. <clears throat> and so, yeah, hockey is a big passion for me, and that's the path. That was my path into computer games. I basically, started out with the console games of the NHL. Um, I also played some Super Mario and all that back in the days. But I wasn't really a big fan of TV console games. I was always more towards the PC or Macintosh. Um, and uh, yeah, that's basically how I then eventually ended up playing Minecraft. And <clears throat> for me, it's just, you know, I, I'm not... These days, I, I mentioned that I, I, I really enjoyed the... First person shooters, but these days I'm, I'm more about, you know, casual gaming, if you will. That's why I think Minecraft suits me really well. I am a super, super competitive person. I always want to 
make sure that I do my best uh, and uh, <laughs> it gets to a point where it's not really a good thing, you know, it drives me crazy, I cannot stand losing. Um, and that's why Minecraft is good for me because, you know, there's no real competition here, I don't have to get upset with, with other people. Um, of course, I see the whole YouTube thing as well as a little bit of a competition. Although lately I've kind of stepped away and, and tried not to compete. Because, you know, you compete with other channels. You try to um, beat them to certain subscriber numbers or views or whatever. Um, but I, I kind of laid low and, and kind of removed the feel of needing to grow my channel in a quick pace lately. Which has been, for me, uh, I, it's really good. I can honestly say today... That I do not really care so much for, for for channel growth. I of course care for doing well, and I hope that my videos are enjoyable. But when it comes to numbers, I'm not too you know I'm not too concerned about it. Let's put it that way, uh, which is great. Hi Skellington, do you have a spawner here somewhere? Please, it would be great to see where you all come from. Um, <clears throat> I also enjoy watching ice hockey on the telly. Um, it is, or, or also live of course, it's one of my biggest passions, so I, I got my girlfriend, I got Minecraft, I got my dogs, uh, and then I would say it's it's hockey. Um, I enjoy watching, watching the Swedish league, uh, and every now and then when I have time, I'd also, I also enjoy watching NHL. I don't really have a favorite team at the moment in, in the NHL, I would say probably because of me being Swedish, I... Back in the days when Peter Forsberg, which was our best hockey player ever, uh, played. When he played, I, I shared for his team, Colorado Avalanche. Um, but now, these days, you know, I, I can actually enjoy the sport without having a team that I have to share for. Um, however, come to the Swedish League, and I am a big Modo fan. If, if, if some Swedes are out there watching this... Um, and we had a pretty bad season this year. It was terrible. In fact, we were saved in regulation from being removed from the highest league. So, whew, had a pretty rough, rough spring. Didn't talk about it on the YouTubes though, but there was some furious moments in my head. Because uh, again, very competitive also when watching sports. It's, it, it can drive me crazy if we lose. And I know that's not good for you, but hey, that's just how things are. Um, so yeah, that is a little bit about me, and uh, I, I get I don't know if everyone's interested in hearing, but I, I saw some of you were actually asking, and you know, I <clears throat> I actually feel honored that you want to know more about the Iskal, the, the guy sitting here playing Minecraft, talking to you all. I'm very, very honored about that, and uh, so I, I thought I'd share. <clears throat> I'm not, you know, a lot, I know a lot of YouTubers are very, very personal and private and all that, I... I'm not like that, I don't really care for it. Um, so, yeah. Going to Minecon as well, if you want to meet me, if you want to say hi, I'll be at Minecon and I'd love to meet you. Um, I saw some tweets, oh, there's actually a ladder here. Oh, wow. This ain't me, I never bring ladders, you crazy. That's a pro caver right there. Uh, anyway, I saw a tweet and a comment to a video that they looked forward to, towards meeting me, which is amazing. I look forward towards meeting you as well. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's also going to be a lot of fun to meet all the other uh, Kingdom Crafters. Ooh, I saw something up here. <clears throat> yeah, to meet the other Kingdom Crafters and to say hi to everybody. Uh, maybe I'll get to meet some other YouTube fellow YouTubers. Um, I am actually... I'm not very, I, I, I don't know a whole lot of YouTubers, there's like a, a circle of people that knows each other that do this YouTube thing, uh, I'm not in any way part of any such circle, I have a few friends that do YouTube, apart from the Kingdom Crafters, but anyway, that's gonna be a lot of fun, so looking forward to that, and I hope that you will be there, um, and say hi, and you know, uh, hopefully we'll, we'll do some Kingdom Craft t-shirts that we can give away. That would be amazing. Holy crap. They just fell down on my head. Wow. Okay. I'll deal with you. Uh, <clears throat> I've also got another question several times. If I would do streaming. Um, and if I would do face cam. So let me answer. 
the streaming one. <clears throat> I think I've said this several times in, in various episodes here and there. I am not comfortable enough doing a streaming type of thing. I don't think simply, I, I don't think I would enjoy doing one. And that's what it boils down to. Uh, sure, you know, I could practice, I could get better at, at the whole talky and commentating part. Um, but I, I don't think I'd enjoy it, to be honest with you. I think it would be too stressful to keep track of all the text that's going on in the chat and, uh, you know, that type of thing. I, ooh, hero! Bannon Mineshaft, nice. Um, yeah, so, so... Occasionally, maybe, maybe sometime I'll do some streaming. I, I'm not, I'm not gonna say that I won't ever do it, but I don't think it will be a regular thing simply because I don't think I'd enjoy it. So that's the answer. I hope that you uh, can kind of appreciate that. I, I only want to do things that I enjoy and that I think can be enjoyable for you guys. Uh, second question in regards to this, this turned into a little bit of a Q&A anyway, didn't it? Hmm. You see how I did? Uh, second question about face cam. Will I do face cam? Maybe, yeah, yeah, maybe. The the I, I don't have any problems with doing a face cam. That would be nice to be able to express my my uh, my feelings and emotion, not just in my voice, but also with facial expressions. Um, I do think, however, the way I record Minecraft content, it would be kind of weird because I do a lot of cuts. Okay, I do a lot of cuts. Not in this video. This video would probably work with with having a caving episode, but uh, but my regular like building episodes, I, I do a lot of cutscenes, and it would be kind of weird. Uh, maybe for some other game, if I'd ever play some other game and feel that it's a good thing or a fun thing to put up on YouTube. Yeah, why not? I have nothing against face cams. I cannot, for the life of me, find a skelly spawner. This is so annoying. I think we're gonna have to say that we failed our objective. Mm. That is annoying. Oh, wait a minute. Is this a dead end? Ah, dang it. Uh, yeah, we're, we're gonna have to, to keep looking. But I think that we're out of time for today. Uh, I wanted to thank you so much for for the opportunity um, of, of letting me do a caving episode. It's been a lot of fun. I was actually very worried about how this would, would, uh, would work, but... Uh, I think, you know, I think it's all good. I think we're, we're happy. Um, I'm, I'm, I certainly enjoyed this. It was nice to chill out and just talk with you guys about things and stuff. Um, and I hope, of course, that you guys have enjoyed it. Now, you know a little bit more about me. I would love to hear from you guys. What is it that you enjoy the most in Minecraft when you watch your YouTube videos? What type of content do you enjoy the most? I tend to do my content with a kind of before, mid, after type of deal. You know, not so much the whole commentating or exploring. I, I tend to build a lot and, and try to inspire you and teach you things and stuff. But I want to know. You know me a little bit, so, so please do share down in the comments. That would be amazing. Uh, we ain't gonna read any book today, unfortunately, because we're down in this cave and I, you know, I can't find my way out. But we'll we'll do that in the next episode, no worries. Um, that abandoned mineshaft, by the way, was kind of empty. I did find a chest with a saddle in it, which is great news. We can now get a horsey. A personal East Cal horsey, that would be cool. Uh, but anyway, that is going to do it. So again, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed and of course if you did be sure to hit the like button down below speak to me in the comments and i see you in the next episode